Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sam and today's video I'm going to be doing a book haul. It's been quite a few months since I've done my last book haul and I have uh, quite a few books. I I don't even need to explain it. You all know. You know how it goes. Reading books and buying books. They're two different hobbies, okay? They're two different hobbies and both of them just happen to be my hobbies, okay? So I have all of the books around me in the floor and then like a whole entire shelf here. Um, they're all in specific genres. So we're just gonna start out with the romance because that's what's right here next to me. And then we'll do fantasy and then I will get into historical fiction because I do have a lot of those. So the first book that I have here is The Surrogate by Penelope Ward. I read this absolutely loved this book. It is fantastic. So freaking good. And then the next one that I have is Wild Love by Elsie Silver. I'm currently reading this, currently vlogging it. I don't know if that vlog is ever going to see the light of day though because I've kind of sucked at vlogging if we're being honest. So we'll see. Then I have Me Without You by Kelly Rimmer. Now this is an author that I have read her historical fiction. And so when I saw this and it's a contemporary romance, I'm like, mm, I'm going to give her a shot. So I don't really know a ton of what this one is about. It says, unforgettable story of how love can break your heart and heal it. So sounds emotional. I'm down with that. Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I read this, absolutely loved it. This was very good. Okay, then I have Take My Hand by McKay Marie. This is book two in the Whisper Me Nothings series. Read this, loved it. You all need Hayden Coleman in your life. You need him in your life. Okay, then we have Ready or Not by Cara Bastone. This is, I believe, a, yes, a surprise pregnancy leads to even more life-changing revelations in this heartfelt, slow-burn, friends-to-lovers romance. I've heard really good things about this. I've never read this author. This cover's adorable. So I'm interested. I am very interested in this book. Okay, then we have Unsteady by Peyton Corinne. I've seen a lot of people really like this book. I know Melissa from Book Bar really liked it. Cheyenne read it, I believe, and really liked it. This is a hockey and figure skater romance. And the only other figure skater romance that I have read is from Luke Off With Love. So I'm interested to see this one. I think, I think it's going to be a winner. And then we have, I don't think I hauled this. I don't think I did. I don't think I hauled these. But I ended up with both the U.S. paperback edition and then the U.K. to match all of my other ones. Even though this one is like shiny and taller, I had to get this cover. Uh... I DNF'd this book because I didn't like it. So will I go back to it? Probably eventually. I just wasn't in the mood. So I have two books here that, you know, I DNF'd. That's, it is what it is. All right. And then I have two books that Cheyenne from That Tall Book Girl gifted to me because she is the absolute best. So we have Beautifully Broken Pieces by Katherine Cowles. This is a dark and quirky edition. It is stunning. Look at that. I love this. It's got the pink edges in the back. This is so pretty. And then she also gifted me Blindside by Candy Steiner. You all know mm, I loved this book when it came out. I absolutely loved it okay one of my favorite candy books one of my favorite romances of all time and this dark and quirky edition is stunning stunning so let's see i haven't even like actually opened it to look in here oh yeah okay so there's the chapter headers it doesn't have um the end pages but Love it. Clay Johnson. Clay Johnson. And then this actually came in our swag bag for Sweetgrass. We got a the discreet edition of Fair Catch by Candy Steiner. So I did get this one signed. Uh, this was not my favorite out of 
that series, but I'm still, I'm gonna keep it because I got it and she signed it. So here we are. So now I'm going to move into fantasy and fantasy romance. The first one that I have here is none other than House of Flame and Shadow by Miss Sarah J. Mass. I did read this and I liked it. I did a whole reading vlog on it. So if you want thoughts, go look because it's not very far back. But yeah, this book, it's getting some, a lot of hate and a lot of very mixed reviews. I, I enjoyed it though. So just my thoughts. And then I have Jade City by Fonda Lee. This book, it's getting a lot of buzz, a lot of buzz and I want to read it. I want to be in on the hype. I really want to be in on the hype. I want to love that. And then I have already read this book. I don't, did I, I don't, I can't remember if I hauled this already. If I did, I'm sorry. Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. I vlogged this and I really enjoyed this book. It's very dark, very grim. And it was, it was a good time. That sounds really weird with how, like what goes on in this book, but it, yeah. I really enjoyed myself while reading this and I need to pick up book two. Okay, and then this is another book that I have already read, A Fate Inked in Blood by Danielle L. Jensen. I actually got the arc of this last year and I loved this book. I had such a good time while reading this. I thought the story was so good. It was so fun and like it really just kept me interested and I I liked it. So yeah, I know that this one has also been getting a little bit of mixed reviews, but I loved it. I think I read it at the perfect time because I just needed something like fast paced, super exciting. And that's exactly what this was. And I really liked the cliffhanger at the end. Was it a little predictable? Maybe if you've read a ton of fantasy romance, but I still, I loved this. And I did get the first edition. So it's got the blue like metallic edges. And I think the hardback is I don't know if this is any different on the but it's got the can you see that it's got the uh whatever this is you know what I'm trying to say okay then I have a promise of Peridot by Kate Golden this is book two in the Sacred Stones series I still have not read this I'm very excited for it I do want to reread book one which is a Dawn of Onyx before I go into this one. Okay, and then the next book that I have is When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. I also have a reading vlog on this book and I loved this book. It took me a while to figure out if I really liked it, but I like, I could not stop thinking about this book after I finished it. So I'm like, yeah, that's, that's a good book. This is a solid fantasy. It's a big boy, but She's good. She's real good. And then the next book that I have is The Veiled Kingdom by Holly Renee. This is her newest fantasy romance. And I believe this is a totally different world from her uh, Kingdom of Stars and Shadows world because I read that series and really, really loved that series. So I'm excited to dive into this one. I honestly have no idea what this one is about, but I have been seeing people absolutely loving this book. So I am very excited to get into this. I know from reading um, A Kingdom of Stars and Shadows that it's going to be probably pretty fast paced and pretty spicy. So I'm here for it. And then the last fantasy romance books that I have are all part of a series and that is the Kindred's Cursed Saga by Penn Cole. So we have book one which is Spark of the Everflame. I did read this and I really enjoyed it. And then we have book two, which is Glow of the Everflame. This is on my April TBR. I still have yet to read this. It will happen though. And then we have book three, which is Heat of the Everflame. This book is so big that it just, it parts itself in the middle because it's ginormous. And I've heard nothing but good things about books two and three. So I'm very excited to continue these. So now I'm going to get into all of the historical fiction books that I have purchased in the last couple months. I will admit I have gone a little overboard. I've gone a little crazy, but I discovered my love for this genre and I just, I want to consume all of the books and I'm just very excited. So 
I went a little crazy, okay? I have bought like an entire shelf worth of new books. So <laughs> it's, I know, I know I have issues. So the first book that I have is Bluebird by Genevieve Graham. I actually heard Melissa from Libraries and Labradors. She talked about this book. She reads a lot of historical fiction and this was one of her favorites from, uh, was it like 2022, 2021, her favorites. Listen, I've gone on like a deep dive of historical fiction. Any like historical fiction video on YouTube, I've watched it. So that's where I found this one from Melissa. So I'm very excited to read this one. I believe this is a Canadian historical fiction. I think it's set in Canada, which is pretty cool because I have not read one of those yet. Okay, and then I have The Girl You Left Behind by Jojo Moyes. Some of these I don't know a whole lot about, so I probably won't go into detail, but I know that this is, I believe, a World War II historical fiction. And then this also World War II historical fiction, The German Wife by Kelly Rimmer. And then I have The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. This is one that Nikki, notable Nikki. I think it's notable Nikki too, notable to Nikki. A subscriber recommended this to me, said that I would absolutely love it. And I bought it and it is on my April TBR. So I'm very excited to pick this one up. It is again, a World War II historical fiction. I believe our, the main girl is a spy possibly. Don't quote me. I don't know. Okay. Now I'm just going to grab just random books over here off of this shelf because this is my historical fiction shelf. <laughs> I love it. Okay. We have Lilac Girls by Martha Hall Kelly. I read this, loved it. World War II historical fiction based on uh, a true story. So that was really cool. Then we have Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. This is a YA, World War II historical fiction, based in Soviet Russia, like the concentration camps that were there. So that's a different perspective that I have not read yet. And then we have The Storyteller by Jody Pico. This, I think, is more set in modern times, and then we're hearing the story of a man who, I think he might have been an officer in the Nazi army, but I'm not sure. I think. Then I have Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. This is also based on a true story about this woman who ran sort of an adoption agency for the very wealthy, but she actually was taking, like, kidnapping kids basically from very poor families and then selling them to very rich families. So I hear that this one is very, very hard to read, but I'm very excited to read it. And then I have one that was sent to me from a subscriber and that is, I believe Stacy. but let me just double check. I kept the note in here, yes, Stacy. And that is The Doctor's Daughter by Sherry J. Ryan. Her father served the enemy. She risked her life to fight for them. Another World War II historical fiction. And then I have I think a classic World War II historical fiction, everyone who reads historical fiction has pretty much, everyone has read this book. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, following, I believe this is a young girl in Paris and then a Nazi soldier. I could be wrong though. I could be way off. This one, I, I said I'm super excited to read it, but I'm even more excited to read this because it takes place in Kentucky and I am from Kentucky. This is based on a true story. This is The Giver of Stars by Jojo Moyes. This is following a group of women who would, you know, ride their horses and go to these very small like mountain towns in Kentucky and probably other states too. I just, I don't know a whole lot about it, but they would teach people to read. So I'm excited for this one and to see a little bit of my home state's history. Next up, I have The Book of Lost Names by Kristen Harmel, another World War II historical fiction. I have The Room on Rue Amelie, again, World War II historical fiction by Kristen Harmel. And then the next three books that I have are all by Amy Harmon. Every 
like every single top favorite historical fiction rec videos that I would see had an Amy Harmon book in it. So I bought a few. The first one that I have is Where the Lost Wonder. And this is kind of pitched as an Oregon Trail in book form. And I loved playing Oregon Trail. Go to the computer lab and you sit down and you play that. Yeah, I loved that. So I'm very interested in that one. And then we have What the Wind Knows. This, I believe, is set in Ireland and it is time traveling. So I'm very excited to get to this one. And then I have read this one. This one is from Sand and Ash. This is a World War II historical fiction set in Italy. It is sort of a forbidden romance as well with a Jewish girl and a Catholic priest. And I really enjoyed this one. So next up, I have The Warsaw Orphan by Kelly Rimmer. This is, again, another World War II historical fiction. And I've heard really good things about this one. Multiple people have DM'd me or commented saying that they absolutely loved this book. And I just, I really want to read more Kelly Rimmer after reading The Things We Cannot Say. Like, she, that book was freaking incredible. So... I just need to read more of her. And then the last books that I have for this haul are all by Miss Kristen Hanna, okay? Some of these I have read, some of them I have not. So the first one is Firefly Lane. This is more of a, well, it's contemporary, but I still think that it's set, uh, I want to say it starts out maybe in like the 60s or the 70s, and then it spans throughout these two friends like their life so very excited again I've heard that this is very emotional and then I have the women this is her newest release I vlogged reading this I absolutely loved this book gave it five stars this is set in Vietnam and it is following a nurse in Vietnam and another one that I have read is The Nightingale <sighs> I still think about this book it was incredible incredible World War II historical fiction set in Paris and we are following two sisters who have very different roles and very different goals in the war. So incredible, incredible book. And then I have Winter Garden. This I believe is also set in World War II but it's set in Russia. So we're learning more about what happened there. And I think that this follows a mother and two daughters, one daughter not entirely sure. The last book that I have in this haul is The Four Winds, again, by Kristen Hanna. This is set in America, and it, I believe, is The Dust Bowl and The Great Depression, I think. Could be wrong. I think we're following, like, two different people in two different timelines, or maybe two different people in one timeline and they merge. I'm not sure, but again, I've heard a lot of people say that this is one of their favorite Kristen Hanna books, so... I'm very excited to read this one. So that is all for my book haul today. Let me know in the comments down below the most recent book that you have purchased. If you've made it this far in the video and you'd like to let me know, leave me a book stack emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.